everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Arfia and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my current favorite makeup brand, Notoriously Morbid. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about Notoriously Morbid and the makeup products that they have. Now first things first, I am a Notoriously Morbid affiliate. What does this mean for you guys? It means that you can use my discount code ARFIA333 for a 15% discount on your order. Does this in any way, shape or form influence my opinion on these products? No, not at all. I will always be honest with you guys and I am here to give you some insight on these products and how to best use them because that's what I've been getting a few questions about is how to use certain products. So now without further ado, let's get started. First things first, I want to start with the eyes. And for the eyes, there's two really good products if you know how to use them. The first one is Shadow Bind. And this one I would recommend to anyone ordering at Notoriously Marbid. If you get loose shimmery shadows, get Shadow Bind why this will make stick all of these products so much better to your eye. Now the way that you use Shadow Bind, this is a very sticky base. The way I personally use it is I take out some of the product with the foot applicator, I do this onto my hands and then I just close it again and then I use my fingers to tap it until it is a little more sticky than it is originally when coming out of the tube and then I pat it onto my eyelid and apply the eyeshadow over it. Now there is a tiny bit of a learning curve with this product but if you practice it a few times I'm sure you'll be extremely happy and extremely pleased with the results you can get with it. And then the second product is Poxy Tonic. Now Poxy Tonic is a mixing liquid so the other one you apply onto your eyelid and then apply the eyeshadow over it or at least that's what I found the best way to use it. With this product you will mix it into a container or onto a mixing palette with your pigment to create a eyeliner like consistency. Now I personally use this mostly to create eyeliner from my different eyeshadow shades but there's also a bunch of people who mix this with their favorite darker contour color for a eyebrow shade or who mix it with black for a eyebrow shade to make it last all day. Now this will not not make your makeup budge at all. So if you want to do a very intricate design and you want it to stay on there all day, use Boxy Tonic. Then we're gonna go into probably the largest category of products onto the Notoriously Morbid website. It is eyeshadow shades. And this can be a tiny bit overwhelming if you first go to their website because there is so much. So I've divided this into more or less categories of eyeshadows. The first one is my personal favorite, it is the mattes. Now the matte shades of Notoriously Morbid are super duper good. It is what got me first interested into their products. And with my first order, I already got a few of my still favorite shades. Now my favorite shades to use as a base because I do started using a base with all of my eyeshadow looks and this is just perfect for my pale skin tone. It is called So Goes My Nation and the size that I have here is the deluxe size so it is the biggest size so you can see the size of the container. I went through my regular small size so the tiny container that you will see afterwards in half a year to a year I think. And do keep in mind I only do makeup on weekends so I only do makeup three times a week and not every single day. So this might last you longer or less long depending on how often you use it. Now the best collection for the mattes is the Slay Me collection of which all the shades are part of. The other shades that I really love, the one I use for my eyebrows is Bloody Awful Poet. This is a really nice and deep black. Then we have of course a True White. The contrast to Bloody Awful Poet is called It's the White Hats. And then you have a bunch of colors. My favorite red currently is called Best Bunch of Months. And for these products you actually don't need Shadow Bind or Poxy Tonic, you just need a regular eyeshadow base. Notoriously Morbid used to have one but they don't make it anymore so maybe one day they will have another one coming out. I currently use the Urban Decay Primer Potion as a primer for my base shadows. The next category of products are the shimmery and glittery shades. And why do I take these together? It is because Notoriously Morbid has such a huge variety of glitter and shimmer shades that it's very hard to draw the line what is glitter and what is shimmer. They have a whole lot of them. Now I have my personal favorites here with me. The first one is called Creepy Green Light. This is a gorgeous creepy green color as the name says and it is 
perfect as a more special unique color as a inner corner highlight or at least that's what I use it for most often. The next shade is 13 Black Rainbows. As the name says it is a black shade with lots of glitter in it, lots of multicolored glitter. This is just gorgeous. And then finally one of my favorite reds is Coven Muffin and this is just my ultimate red shade. Now for the shimmer shades, the regular shimmer shades, so in the loose formula, I would recommend applying them over Shadow Bind. Shadow Bind will make the glitters and the shimmers stand out. You only need a teeny tiny bit and it is not too expensive. This tube actually goes a very long way. The next shades are also shimmery and glittery shades, but these are in the semi-loose formula. And what does this mean is that they are not as powdery as the regular loose formula, hence the name semi-loose. There is actually a product mixed in with them making them super easy to apply now I would recommend using a base with every single shadow it's something I always do but these do not need shadow binds they do not need anything to work now I have a few colors that I'm super happy with the first one of course a red shade this one is called sanctuary and it is absolutely gorgeous the next shade is actually my inner corner highlight today it is called shrine and then finally a darker color. This is almost a black leaning onto the purple side for me. And this one is called Vashta Nerada. And this is absolutely gorgeous. If you use these three together, you have a full look. Now, Notoriously Marmot doesn't only have loose formulas. They also have pressed products. Now, I only have limited edition products. I do not have any of their regular pressed shadows. Reason for that is because I really like working with loose shadows. Now, this is one of my makeup palettes by Notoriously Morbid with pressed shadows. It comes like this. I did not press these myself. This is called Twist the Bones and Bend the Back, inspired by Hocus Pocus. Now, these colors are incredible. The payoff is insane. This doesn't need a shadow bind or anything to be as intense as you see them here and again I will be including some swatches and then we get to the final category of eyeshadows and it is the multi chromes and for today's look I have actually used desire which goes from red to orange to bronze and gold and these are truly unique products that you really you have to see it to believe it and a little goes a long way with these because I only have the smaller sizes and I have used certain ones of these a bunch of times and I'm still not even digging into them so these go a long way and then finally for eye products there is also the litany liners these are the range of eyeliners that notoriously morbid has they exist in a few different colors some of them are permanent some of them are not there is a permanent range and the black one is my all-time favorite it is called ceremonial now what I really like about this formula is that it is less harsh on my eyes I've really noticed a big difference ever since I started using these eyeliners that my eyes are less red at the edge where I apply my eyeliner. So I personally really love them and I also really like the brush. The next category of products I want to talk about are the face products. Now, Notoriously Morbid does not have primers or foundations, etc. But they do have a setting powder, they have multiple contour colors and they have highlighters. And the highlighters are phenomenal. But first things first, let's get started with the setting powder. This is called The End. It is a true matte translucent setting powder. I really love this. I have gone through... Um, this is my second one already. So this is the second one I'm using and I do use this every single time I do makeup to set my foundation and just to make it easier to blend my contour and my highlight. And this is just perfect. Next product is my favorite contour color. I do have multiple contour colors, but this is the only one that is permanently available on the website. This one is called Necromancy and the size you can see here is the biggest size. The smaller size is like this more or less. And I did use the smaller size over more than a year before I ran out of it. And now I have the biggest size available and I hope I never run out because it's just perfect contour for pale people. Now, for highlights, there's a few colors that I really like, but my all-time favorite is Osteomancy. It's the highlight I'm wearing today, and this is actually a more neutral to cool toned highlight, which is rather subtle, although you can really build it up and make it high shine. I love this. This is one of my favorite highlighters. It is the one that I will be using 9 chances out of 10. And then just recently, Notoriously Morbid came out with a new collection of pressed highlighters, and they have two palettes. They have 
ghostly tails and ghastly tails. One is cool toned and one is warm toned. And now I am a super big fan of their highlighters, but I don't feel like I can use up three shades of highlighter in the time span that I think I would. So I only got one shade, which is my personal favorite one. This one is called Annabelle, and this is a, as you can see from the reflection, a cool toned blue more or less highlighter, but it also has silvery reflections in it. It is super stunning. You only need a teeny, teeny, tiny bit to get super huge color payoff, as you will see in the swatch. Um, yeah, I love this highlight. Um, these are my four favorite products from the face collection. And then a product that hopefully soon will come back to Notoriously Morbid is this one, which we got as a test in our vanishing cabinet, which is a monthly subscription box by Notoriously Morbid. This is a setting spray. It is called Everlasting Glob Stopper. And I really love this. It is a lot nicer smelling than most of the setting sprays that I have used. And it just did its job perfectly. So I hope we will be able to buy this pretty soon because it was truly amazing. Next category is lips and I do have quite a bunch of lipsticks from Notoriously Morbid. Now Notoriously Morbid has a lot of lip products and the first one I want to talk about are the lip balms. These are called Sinister Sprites and this is just one of them. I have multiples scattered around the place. Um, you will get these in vanishing cabinets or you can order them from the website. They have different flavors, different colors, etc. Now there is a second product that I am a even bigger fan of. It is called the Slumber Solves. Now these are little jars with a sort of lip balm, but they are a lot more hydrating and a lot more caring and nurturing for your lips. As you can see, I've had this for half a year already, I think, or at least four months or five months. And there's only just starting to form a dip into this product. Now, what I do with this, if I have very damaged lips, I will apply this before I go to sleep and then in the morning, they will be a lot better. Or as I did today, before I start applying my makeup, I will apply a tiny bit on my lips just to make sure that I have very nicely cared for lips by the time I start applying my lip color. So Slumber Solve is even more caring than the lip balms, the Sinister Sprites. I also quickly want to mention that sometimes you will get scrubs, lip scrubs from Notoriously Morbid. Now these are not for sale on the website, but you can get them into the vanishing cabinets or into other boxes by Notoriously Morbid. This one comes from the advent calendar. This one is the Rotting Zombies lip scrub. It has a really nice grape kindish flavor. I'm really bad at naming flavors and they do help with getting rid of the dead skin of your lips. They are super good. If you can order them at some point, I would highly recommend them. I personally use them almost every single time I will be applying makeup. And next onto lipsticks. Now, not all of the liquid lipsticks by Notoriously Morbid are mattes. They have some really gorgeous ones. This is a full size, a big size in the old container. They have switched their containers. So uh, the way they come packaged to these ones, which is no issue to me. The only thing I really liked about the old ones was the mirror that they included. For going out, this is perfect because you can easily just touch up your makeup while you're on the go. Um, so yeah, these are the big size formats of the Mystic Matte Lipsticks and of the Liquid Lipsticks by Notoriously Morbid. And this is the small size. Now I do have a bunch of these and most of them are in the small sizes. And if I run out of a small size, then I will order the big size because I know I will be using it a ton. But I do have so many shades that for some shades, I do get the big size like Rune. The black one is perfectly matte black. I love it so much. This one I just had to get in a big size. Sometimes you will also get these into the subscription boxes, etc. I love these. Now, Notoriously Morbid doesn't only have matte shades, they also have shimmer shades, which start out matte when you apply them, and when you start pressing your lips together and talking, you will see the shimmers coming out. So this one is called Beyond the Pale. 
There's other shades who are also very shimmery and very nice. This one is called Drudes. And then finally for these glittery lipstick shades that I really want to mention, there is Thirteen Black Rainbows. And this one is almost an exact copy of the eyeshadow shade, which I personally love. Notoriously Morbid has sold for a very long time Alchemy Changelings. And they are more or less tubes like this if you get the small version or the big one is as big as a big lipstick. And they are actually lipstick toppers. Now, if you apply them over a certain lipstick, over any lipstick, it will change the color depending on which changeling you get. Then, since we're in the shimmery products, Notoriously Morbid also every now and then has these really nice cosmic glosses. These are, as the name says, lip glosses. They come in this kind of brushy type tubes, which you have to twist the end off and then the product comes out here. You can either apply them kind of translucently is what I personally prefer with these because otherwise my hair will stick into them, but you can also make these quite opaque. Finally, I still wanted to mention another product that unfortunately is not available at this time. It is the regular lipstick formulas. This is the old container and this was the re-released container, so the newer version. The older ones are kind of coffin shaped and you can actually see through this top part of the lid. Now this color over here is called Sepulcher this is a really nice dark red and then the other color I have is actually a very nice topper color it is called Spectre Stricken you can use this on its own it's a very nice shimmery for me personally almost nude shade but this is especially good if you layer it on top of other colors Finally, there's a few products on the website that I currently do not own. There are also bad bombs, there's also merchandise. So you can actually get makeup palettes in which the small pants of Notoriously Morbid fit. There's also badges. And there are two products which I personally really love. The first one are the body splashes. Now, this is not a perfume. This is lighter than a perfume, hence the bigger bottle. And this one is called Magic Draught. And this used to be part of the Venice cabinet so I also had a tiny tube but because we all loved it so much notoriously morbid was kind enough to release it in the big sizes as well so the regular size that these would be sold at and as you can see it is a blue spray it's not blue on skin but it has a lot of these really nice iridescent sparkles that will kind of lightly show up on your skin once you've applied it and then finally another product very much related to the body splash are the body lotions now unfortunately I used up mine entirely and threw away the container so I cannot show you the size of the container that I had but they are very rich body creams, body lotions, um, a tiny bit like the body butters that you can get at the body shop, but less thick and they enter the skin a lot easier. I really love them. They had super duper good scents. The one I personally had was pumpkin spice scented and I absolutely adored it. But the body splashes and the body lotions all smell super good. All of the ingredients that are used into these products are also mentioned on the website. Now Notoriously Morbid is 100% cruelty free and almost all of their products are vegan. There are a few products who are not vegan but it is listed on every single product. So if for example you were to take one of my eyeshadows, which I just did, you can see Vashta Nerada is vegan and is lip safe. Now all of the pigments, so all of the eyeshadows more or less, you will know if they are lip safe or not. So I hope this video gave you a little bit more insight on Notoriously Morbid and that it was helpful for you guys. Should you still have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to help you out. If there's any tutorials you want to see with these products, feel free to ask me as well. I will be including a tutorial at the end of this video on how I did this look or I will make it into a separate video depending on how long this gets. Should you want to place an order at Notoriously Morbid, you can use my discount code ORFIA333 for a 15% discount on your order. Of course, you don't have to place one, but if you want to, feel free to do so. Do pay attention to the turnaround time of items. It is not a shop where you place your order and the next day it is shipped. Every order has to be made. It is an indie company, it is a small company. So between placing your order and actually having it sent out, I think currently it is seven work days. So you have to keep that in mind and then of course the shipping to you. Now I live in Belgium and most of the time I have my orders within two to three weeks 
from placing my orders to getting it in my mailbox and I think that's perfectly fine and I love these products so much that it is worth the wait. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I make new videos every week and I would love to have you for every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!